All right, let's cut to the chase. The Škoda Kushak has arrived on our Indian shores by promising amazing build quality and superior driving dynamics compared to the crop of smaller SUVs that are currently in our market. In a world of Celtoses and Cretas, this thing has come out and given us that European flair. In fact, Škoda is so dedicated to this project, they've almost invested 250 million euros or 2200 crores in the brand promotion and marketing of this project. So, today I'm here to tell you all of the amazing features that the Kushak has and the amazing driving dynamics that this thing provides. And in this one, the stakes are quite really very, very high. So the variant that we have gotten is the 1 litre TSI style manual transmission variant and this engine first debuted in the new generation Rapid and Polo and uh, in those cars the acceleration and the power was very punchy, you could feel the strength of the engine. But in this Kushak, the power has been subdued a little bit because of course this is a family SUV and Skoda and VW have done a few tweaks to this engine for this uh, style of car. So the acceleration has dumbed down a little bit and still the car makes roughly the same amount of horsepower. It makes 115 PS of power and torque has gone up by 3 Newton meters to 178 Newton meters of torque, which is pretty sufficient for this sort of car. Some things that I don't like about the driving experience is this uh, stick shift over here. So this is the six speed manual transmission. In first gear, the clutch release is a little bit weird in my opinion. You can't really find the biting spot for the clutch. Uh, and once you start rowing through the gears, uh, you can instantly feel that this is not the smoothest of gearboxes when it comes to a manual transmission. The shift is a little bit clunky and it's a little bit difficult to get it into uh, gear, but you can glide over it no problem at all. Talking about the comfort aspect of it, uh, the suspension on this thing is just like a cloud. You can't feel anything that's going underneath the car and it is a very comfortable driving experience. I would say that's partly due to the amazing seats that the Kushak has. These are some amazing seats. They have uh, ventilated seats as well. So you can keep your buttocks nice and cool on a hot summer day. Uh, the seats hug you in all of the right places and keep you in place when you're going around a corner very hard. And talking about corners, when you throw the Kushak into a corner aggressively, you can instantly feel the superior driving dynamics that this thing has over its Korean and Japanese or whatever other Indian competitors that this thing has. Uh, it grips to the road very very well and whereas some cars when you throw the car in a little bit too hot you can instantly feel that the car is not confident in doing that whereas in this this car just grips and hugs the road and a lot of people would complain that this thing does not have the features of what a kia seltos or a sonnet uh, delivers in that sort of price range but you have to understand that skoda is not about all of that it's about the driving dynamics it's about the safety and about the great build quality that this thing has i mean i can't hear any sort of creaks or rattles in the interior which is a very big uh, advantage that this thing has over all of its competitors so one thing that the Tygoon has and this doesn't have and it bothers me quite a bit is the virtual display so in front of me I have a very classic Skoda looking analog uh, display with two uh, analog dials which is a tachometer and a speedometer and it has a central screen which has all of my driving data like my fuel range fuel economy speed etc etc so the Tycoon gets a completely virtual cockpit uh, just like all of the premium Audis and Skodas in the price range and for some reason Skoda does not give a virtual cockpit for this car which is kind of annoying. So the interior is a very nice place to be in and I mean you can instantly see where all of the money that you're spending is going. You have this beautiful two spoke steering wheel in front of you just like in the Skoda Superb and you have these crawler wheels over here which are knurled and have a very amazing effect to them. You have an analog instrument cluster just like I said and that is something that I wish that the Kushak would have gotten which was the virtual cockpit but we can glide over that for now. Overall, the interior has a very sturdy feel to it. You have this massive infotainment system in the middle, which has a lot of functions to it. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the works. You have this textured dashboard over here, which looks very premium. And you have this gloss black uh, finish all around with this chrome strip running across the whole width of the dashboard. The seats, like I said, very comfortable ventilated seats, uh, orange stitching on top of them. 
they look very nice they hug you in the right places so you have this sunroof as well over here it's not a panoramic sunroof like other competitors in the range but i can totally gloss over that fact uh, you have this new ac control unit over here which has the sliding features instead of the tactic buttons the interior is a really nice place to be in i don't think anyone would complain about this interior and i totally understand why skoda is charging so much of a premium over its competitors When you stand back and look at it, the Skoda Kushak makes most of its relatively compact dimensions. From the side profile, it has a very purposeful look. The 17-inch wheels fill up the wheel arches adequately. From the front end, you have this familiar Skoda family grille flanked by LED DRLs on both sides, and it has a generous amount of body cladding on the front as well. At the back, it has a very simple design with two tail lights with DRLs inside of them, and it reminds me of the Octavia, Superb, and other family. design cues from the Skoda lineup and it reminds me somewhat of some Volvos as well all in all it's a very premium looking car it has a lot of body cladding and has that very aggressive and muscular look and it has added that european flair by those sharp creases and leading lines instead of those swoopy curves that most other manufacturers in this price range give it is a very good looking car what skoda is trying to do with the kushak is to cater to two different types of buyers If you compare it against the Kias, the Kushak has a longer wheelbase than the Sonnet, as well as the Seltos, surprisingly. And in terms of length, it is larger than the Sonnet but smaller than the Seltos. Basically, Skoda is trying to sell the same car at two very different price points. Pricing for the Kushak starts at rupees 10.49 lakhs X showroom, in which you get the 1 liter TSI and a manual transmission. And if you compare that to Kia's Sonnet. HTK Plus Turbo variant you're getting a car with a much stronger engine yes even if the numbers don't suggest it the 1 liter TSI is a way better engine than the one found in the Hyundai and Kias you're getting a much safer car as well and a car that drives much better as well and if you jump into the opposite side of the spectrum and compare it against the Seltos GTX Plus DCT you get a bigger engine more power and torque again a safer car and a better driving one I think it is totally justifiable on why Skoda asks for a premium for this brand new Kushak. Before we sign off, I want to give a big shout out to Garvesh Skoda for making this video possible. Garvesh Skoda has two different branches in Pune, one on Bandarkar Road and one in Pimple Sodagar. They have every new Skoda you can think of in stock at their showrooms. Everything from the Kushak, new Octavia and even this gorgeous superb sport line. So if you are in the market to buy a Skoda vehicle, we would highly suggest you to go to garvesh skoda and book one as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends if you found it informative follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one